Song of the Summit. The difference is nothing you can see, only the dressed edge of the air over those stones, and the air goes deeper into the lung, like a long fang, clean as magnesium. Breathing always hollows out a basin, leaving nothing in the blood except an empty cup usable for drinking anything the mind finds. Bitter light or bright darkness or the cold corner of immeasurable distance. This is what remains. The pitted blood out looking for the vein. Tasting of the tempered tooth and the vanished flame. Ararat. The deepening scour of the keel across this granular water. Nothing more. The fissure through the estuary, 5,000 feet over the headwater. These are the real mouths of rivers, the teeth, not the slough and the rattles. We have been here before, eating raw air, but have always forgotten. All day eating the air the light impales, stalking the singular animal. I no longer remember whether a fish or a bird, nor whether its song or its silence is what we were listening for. I remember a bow and a black tree and a snowbound plowshare. I find here no spoor and no flotsam timber. Simply the blue sliding into the furrow and the tilting light and the violet sky, always casting the same white shadow. Death by Water It was not his face, nor any other face, Narcissus saw in the water. It was the absence there of faces. It was the deep clear of the blue pool he kept on coming back to, and it kept on coming back to him as he went to it, shipping out over it October after October and every afternoon, walking out of the landlocked summer, out of the arms of his voice, walking out of his words. It was his eye say that he saw there or the resonance of its color. Better yet say it was what he listened for, the low whisper of light along the water, not the racket among the stones. Be by too, as we do, though for the love of hearing our voices and for the fear of hearing our speech in the voices of others come back from the earth. We speak while we listen and look down the long blue pools of air that come toward us and say they make no sound, they have no faces, they have one another's eyes. Jacob singing. What I am I have stolen. I have climbed the mountain with nothing in my hand except the mountain. I have spoken to the god with nothing in my hand except my other hand, one against the other, the smith against the wizard. I have watched them. I have watched them wrestle one another to the ground. I have watched my body carry my head around like a lamp, looking for light among the broken stones. What I am, I have stolen. Even the ingrained web in the outstretched palm of this body, limping on oracle finger and thumb, dragging a great weight, an arm or a tail like the wake of a boat drug over the ground. What I am, I have stolen. Even my name. My brother, I would touch you, but these are your hands, yours, yours, though I call them my own. 
My brother, I would hold your shoulders, but only the voice is mine. My brother, the head is a hand that does not open, and the face is full of claws. What I am, I have stolen. These mountains, which were never mine, year after year, have remade me. I have seen the sky colored with laughter. I have seen the rocks between the withered water and the quaking light. I have climbed the mountain with nothing in my hand, except the handholds as I came upon them, leaving my hands behind. I have eaten the sun, it is my muscle, eaten the moon, it is my bone. I have listened to the wind, whipped in the heart's cup, slap, and whistle in the vein. My father said, the wood will crawl into the apple, the root will crawl into the petal, the limb will crawl into the sepal and hide. But the fruit has eaten the tree, has eaten the flower, the body which is flower and fruit together has swallowed its mother, root and stem. The lungs are leaves, and mine are golden. I have seen the crow carry the moon against the mountain. I have seen the sky crawl under a stone. I have seen my daughter carried on the land's shoulder, I have seen the wind change color above her. I have lain in silence, my mouth to the ground. I have seen the light drop like a wagon sprag in the crisp stubble. I have seen the moon's wheels jounce through the frozen ruts and chirp against the pebbles. I have seen the metal angels clatter up and down. I have seen the flushed ewes churn in the pen, and the picked rams boil against the hazel. I have seen them strip the poplar, scrub the buckeye bare. I have seen the mixed flocks flow through the scented hills like braided oil. I, who never moved as they do, I have climbed the mountain one foot up and one hoof down. The breath is a bone, the flesh comes loose around. Flower and fruit together, but this other, this other who is always in the body, lungs in the belly, head between the thighs, oh, his arms go backward and his legs go side to side. My son, you have asked for a blessing. I give you this blessing. I tell you the eye will flow out of the socket like water, the ear will gore like a horn and the tongue like another. The sailor will stay in his house near the harbor, the laborer blinkered and fed will stay at his labor. The soldier will soldier, the lawyer will smile like milk and swill liquor, the judge will glide like a snake, keeping pace with the horses, the man with gay eyes will like chocolate, the roebuck will wrestle the air and you will hear music, the rancher will prosper, the wolf will walk out of your hand and his teeth will be shining. But this one, my grandson, the young one, this one will steal the sun and the moon, the eye and the tooth of the mountain. This one will ride with his dogs through the galleries of vision. This one will move among the rain-worn shapes of men with faces in his hands and the fingers writhing. This one will slide his spade through the sea and come away carrying wheat and linen. This one, the young one, how tall, shaking hands and trading armor with his dark-eyed brother. 
My son, you must do more than listen to the angel. You must wrestle him. And one thing further, he must be there. The muscle in the air, the taut light, hinged in the milky gristle and the swollen dark, the smell like the smell of a cornered animal. I have oiled these stones to sharpen the wind. I have come or I have gone, I have forgotten. I hold what I hold in this chiasma of the hands. I have set my ear against the stone and heard it twirling. I have set my teeth against the stone and someone said he heard it singing.